Hey everyone, Merrix here, bringing you another video. This one is on Gunther, Ring General Decay. So we got our cowboy western Gunther in the game here, and uh, he's a lot of fun. So he's a defensive trickster, modern era, of course. Um, the standard to the Zombie Link modern era, and then the standard Ring General Decay gear. <clears throat> he's a coach. Uh, pretty good multiply blue gem coach. So if you got somebody making blue multiply gems like Acro Bianca, um, I believe um, Terry Funk as well, uh, those gems are going to do 90% more damage total at 6 star. 30% blue, 60% multiply gem damage. So <clears throat> pretty solid multiply uh, coach for blue multiply users, which is a good chunk of them. Um... So, four build sets for you guys, and uh, let's just jump right in. Uh, first off is the Bite. Steal up to 920k health. Hardcore. If your health is below 50%, then steal up to 920k more health. Uh, we'll get to the Hardcore one in a later build. That's pretty neat. Lacerating Chop. 3 MP. Yellow. Deal 166k damage and choose a 1x3 area to swap into Yellow Gems. Recycles itself. Double Barrel Dropkick, uh, 5 MP deals 595k damage, steal up to 4 MP from each of your opponent's yellow moves. So this is an MP steal build. The idea here is we're going to steal some MP. Uh, we're going to use, uh, you know, Woods here for 4 black MP to have us loaded for Feud, and then we got all the health steal guys in here. Clubber Lang for 150, uh, Nakamura for 100, Zombie Brian for 31. If you don't have those, um, I believe Zombie Balor steals 10% health uh, at Coach. And then uh, Roman steals 60%, uh, I think. Uh, Trickster Roman. I'm going to have it on 2 times speed for the preview so we get through them. Um, I normally don't bother with an MP steal build. This one's kind of kind of fun, so you know what? I figured let's go for it. Um, so we're going against uh, Undead Walter against uh overweight walter here and uh, we're gonna steal all of his yellow and we're gonna do 3.5 million in health steal uh which is quite good now normally in feud you'd have to hit this three times without matchy match perks so this is uh tour perk i wouldn't use this build in feud personally it's just me to show you guys uh this one plus more excuse to do some um gunther chops here so it would take three to recycle it instead of the two that you're seeing here in feud Unless you used matchy match, which you could, uh, you could put um, Hollywood Hogan in for like Zombie Brian, or instead of um, Clubber, which would take a huge chunk off of your um, health steal, you could use uh, Acro Dom. No danger of him getting any moves off, of course, after the full drain of his yellow MP. And uh, we're going to mop up right here. Couple clicks. Health steal. One more click. You know, game over. Pretty simple. Uh, love the chops. So I don't mind hitting a few of those. Okay, so that's the slow version. Let's now do the really, really fun version. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to add in the other yellow move. Oh, okay. Thank you, game. Early recruit. All right. And this one is interesting. I wish it wasn't capped. I see why they did it, but I don't like it. Um, Pyrrhic Tactics. Um, that basically means uh, victory at a, at a high cost, essentially. Um, 3 MP deal 2.38 million damage to the opponent and yourself. This damage cannot be modified by move damage effects, so metals, trainers, etc. won't make it bigger. This will only ever be 2.3 million. It'll never grow. Um, so that's kind of a bummer. I wish it did, um, because we'll talk a little bit about... This is my favorite moveset, by the way. Um, but of note, you have to worry about scaling, I think, a little bit into silver. So we're stealing almost 4 million health with this trainer setup. Um, and the goal here is to get the hardcore 
uh, move going. And to hit for 8 million health steal, right? So we got to lose half our life, which uh, Pyrrhic Tactics is going to help us to do. You do need Hogan in Feud to start with the 3 MP. So we're going to do 2.4 million to both of us. We need to get to right around 7 million health here um, to make that work. I don't like that. I don't like the two red there. I'm going to cascade the purple there. I'm going to drop a green. I know it. Oh, I didn't. All right, cool. And yes, the move is loaded. I'm going to ignore that because we want to get to half health. We're not quite there. We need to, we need to take damage one more time. Also, uh, what this means is you don't care about straps or metals with this build, right? So Walter started with 14 million health. He's down to 6.5, and this is 8 million. So that's 16 million health done um, right here. Boom. And we're back to full life. And that's it. Game over. Game over, man. So easily my favorite moveset. Uh, it's phenomenal. I love it. Uh, it reminds me of Zombies of Old, starting with, like... Um, Zombie Kane, uh, who used to heal himself and damage the opponent. And then from there, we had uh, Zombie Mankind, who would die and come back to life. This is this year's version, so I very much appreciate it. Um, the scaling at silver, he'll probably be able to manage about 18 million, unless there's some other modifier, I would assume, at silver in, in one turn this way. Uh, give or take a little bit. So he can get a full drain on most people, but it is worth noting. Um, anyway, that's my favorite moveset by far. Really, really like it. A lot of fun. So let's move on to the last two movesets here. This is a super sub build. And yes, Mellow is on there for a trainer because I would not run a super sub... I would not run this this build without Mellow. With Mellow, this all of a sudden becomes really interesting because um, you are you don't have to rely on like multiple turns to reload. You're gonna load both of these moves. So you got two, two, two shots at making it happen, Cap'n, uh, of wiping them out. Um, and then he won't recycle, but two should be plenty because um, we're gonna use Dig Two Graves, eight MP purple. 193k damage plus uh, 108k bonus damage for every silence gem. Limb Ripper Suplex, 6 MP black, 169k damage and choose 7 gems to make into purple. And then the Zombie Attack, 6 MP submission, generate 44 sub gems. They're going to do 361k for 4 turns, remaining turn into silence. And then the Entourage, we got Mellow, so this way both the black and the purple move will be charged. We're going to use the black to reload the purple to get the second sub. Zombie Brock for three more turns and 20% more damage, and then, you know, your your extra subby peoples here at Coach. Um, so, <clears throat> we're going to do right around uh, 7 million uh, with one sub. And that'll start loaded, right? So he's at 14.1 health. 1 million. So you'll hit your sub. And that brings him under 700k. So a little more than, slightly more than 7 million. <clears throat> then you're going to hit this move. He's got, we'll probably do like 2 million with what we have on the board here. Give or take. Yeah, 2 million. So now he's down to 4.4 million. So we've done 10 million damage before we start the next um, sub cycle, right? And then just a 5 match in feud would load it. And then, of course, this would be loaded again uh, after the sub. But so, um, you know, it's roughly like 18 mil damage this way. Um, maybe a little bit more. You could also load this with a 5 and a 3 and hit that again if you needed it to drain them uh, and then hit the sub to finish them off. Um, so yeah, I like it this way with Mellow because you don't have to worry about recycling. You're not giving up another turn. It's a, it's a two-turn win. 
right where a lot of other times with subs you got to hit a finisher to get back to the sub and it starts taking multiple turns and more things can go wrong uh so as far as the super sub build goes for it being two turns i actually rather like that and now the final build is going to be triple purple i'm going to run it with no plate and then i'll put a plate on i have pretty generic uh strap you can see five percent metals aren't crazy um and all that jazz but we're going to put the finisher in playing taps <clears throat> so this one you hit the sub um then you hit the silence gem move and this uh this loadout that i have for this one uh oops i should probably read the description of the moves i'm gonna make a caveat uh if you have him who i don't yet so playing taps the one you haven't seen finisher five 546k damage and make 44 silence into purple um so this slot with Sammy, you could use Sammy, you could use KO, you could use another two purple MP person. I don't think there's a silence gem damage in two purple MP. If there is, I didn't have them um, yet. Maybe we do have one of those because we have so many two purple MP guys. If there is, that would be the one to use. Um, and maybe just didn't show up when I looked and, and there is one or I don't have them. I don't know. I didn't see it. Um, you. So... Anyway, I'm not going to look through it again, but there's Snowfall, there's basically everything. So you could use KO or any of that. And then in this slot, this is where you're going to use the new, um, what's his face, Zombie Cody. With the with the purple gem damage and the silence gem damage, that he would be really good on Gunther and make a huge difference on the Dig 2 Graves, right? For now, we just got Ray on there, but long term, this would be Zombie Cody. This is kind of interesting, um, like this, because nothing does exceptional damage by itself. Everything together adds up nicely. What? Game? Hello? Okay. Uh, I loaded in with 999 health. That was bizarre. Well, that's a new one. I have trainers on, right? Yeah. All right. Let's try it again. Working as intended. Okay. Uh, so we're back. So the sub's gonna do 741k for four turns. We got this move, and then we got the finisher dealing 1.26 million, and then 44 silence gems into purple. So obviously you don't want to extend the sub on this, because the more silence gems, the better. You could use a sub reduction coach. I've, I'm on record multiple times as saying I hate those. I would not do that. Uh, I would get the drain. So we're going to hit this. It should do like four-ish million, maybe a little more. Yeah, three, five. Um, so Cody would make a big, big difference. And I think you could see some, some, maybe some, and this is without a plate, right? All hard is the plate we're going to use. Um, so in total, we ended up not the biggest finisher, but we did 10 million damage in one cycle. Um, which is okay. I think... Um, with Cody and with a plate, you could win in a cycle. Um, but I don't love this moveset. I personally, and this is going to be really weird, um, right now, un unless we get like 100% or 75% in two purple MP, then that'll change. Um, oh, and the reason why you need the two purple MP is so that you can have the finisher loaded right away because this starts 9 MP and feud with this setup, right? So the next turn is 10 and your finisher's loaded. If you give up any of those, that goes away and your finisher won't be loaded in feud. But yeah, they add in like a 75% two purple MP um, trainer or if they have one and I get it, I just, I don't, I don't know right off the top of my head. There's so many now. Um, and then if I had Cody, then I think this moveset, yeah, probably pretty solid, but <clears throat> it's hard for me to get away from that triple yellow. It's so fun. Um, but let's put a, uh, all hard on the most used sub plate of all time. 
Whenever you generate three or more sub gems, 100% green or purple gem damage. Still one of the best old plates they've ever made. Very useful. It doesn't, it's not game breaking. It just enhances so many um, posters, right? It makes so many of them um, better. And it's just very, very useful. It's probably one of the plates I use the most. And I have a bunch of them, thankfully. So a lot of tricksters aren't really very exciting. So what I look for in a trickster is can they do big, fast damage and like quickly? And there's not very many of those. Uh, Solo comes to mind and Solo comes to mind. And then Umaga is pretty, pretty good that way, right? Th those would be like your, your kind of like your top two uh, tricksters quick damage wise, right? So we still didn't keep him down turn one. So I think you would need those other uh, trainers, like Cody for sure, and then you would have a shot. And then if they add in a two purple, 75% um, silence guy. So yeah, what I was saying, after those two fast tricksters, it's kind of like, who do you like? Who fits your play style, right? Do they bring something unique to the table? Are they useful in like a boss battle? Like... What style are they? So he's a defensive guy. Um, and defensive in general in boss battle usually has some of the worst choices. There are a few exceptions. But generally speaking, I think defensive has the least offensive options, as you would expect uh, in particular for boss battle. So he'll be great at silence, um, great at purple. Um, if there's ever a Hellsteel boss, goodness, he would be the man, right? With a Hellsteel boss. So let's take a look. Um, okay, yes. Yes, contest started. I know. Okay, we're almost there. At uh, Tricksters. So he's not better than Solo. Let's just be straightforward here. He's not. But, but there is something to be said for a moveset that heals itself and really doesn't need anything other than the trainers, right? Like, um, this moveset doesn't need a strap at all. And there is something, I place high value on that. I think he's better than Dom. I think he's better than Steamboat. Uh, I think he's better than Corbin. I think he's better than Hollywood. So, really, who's better? Uh, potentially Umaga. Um... I mean, Umaga's better, I think, and Solo's better. And then I think it's kind of a playstyle preference. What do you like? You know what I mean? Like, some people might like Priest. I think he's better than Priest. Um, yeah. Who's better than that at Trickster? There's not... Who's better than Canyon? Nobody, that's who. There's not a lot when I look through Tricksters. And who am I missing? I'm missing Ghostbuster Hogan. I think he would be better. Um... But I mean, like, you know, if you have him, you don't need me to tell you that. You either like him or you don't. Um, I think he's better than Invis Cena for sure. I think he's better than Knoxville for sure. Yeah, and that's, what's, that's what we got. So uh, I do like him more than Dom, Judgment Day Dom. I do like him more than Judgment Day Priest. So, yeah, I would put him probably as my personal um third trickster to me i would i'd level him ahead of umaga because i like his play style with the health steal i think it's super fun i like him better than theory as well nash etc um zombie steamboat i like him more than um yeah he's really good like another uh really good a tier showdown character so uh hopefully i can get him hopefully you guys can get him um, let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I'm enjoying the two times speed. I feel like we can get through a lot more really fast. Shorten the videos up a little bit. I don't like going over 20 minutes, so that's where we're at. So remember to like, subscribe, and share. That really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and good luck out there. Oof, that hell steal, man. That's what I'm talking about. Will Ricks!